What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And it has been 75 years since Mars attacked Earth. Well, if you were living 75 years ago, and I'm 33, and I certainly was not, you might have thought that. Um, these days, it's often thought as an early Halloween prank, not likely to be replicated today. But 75 years ago, it was terrifying real to millions. October 30th, 1938, there was a tense time when Hitler already supreme in Austria and Czechoslovakia, while France and Great Britain were trying to avoid another war. Across the Western world, enemies were ominously real. Orson Welles, actor and director, later to be remembered for his Citizen Kane and other successful films, was director and actor in the radio series Mercury Theater on the Air. The novel The War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells was published in 1898. It tells a tale of the invasion of of Britain by the Martians, who, although, although wily lethal at first, eventually all succumbed to Earth, bacteria why they had no immunity. So one source that I found said that Wells was much against using the novel as source material when it was first suggested by her producers as a unique holiday Halloween play. So it was all a ruse for Halloween. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Um, all right, let's keep on going here. This is, this is a good article. i keep on going here. The most important change that Orson Welles made, the one that lives on in history, was uh, adapting to the book. The radio play was written and performed, so it sounded like a news broadcast, reporting an invasion from Mars. There was, however, a brief comment before the play started, stating that it was fiction. It was not given while many families were just gathering around the radio, so they missed it or did not fully understand the statement. So basically, this was given right before, <laughs> right before they put a statement but back then I could just picture a bunch of Americans getting around huddling around the radios as big wooden radios that glowed that that green or that that yellow glow to it and uh, just a whole different time time that I go back and I used to listen to my grandfathers and grandmothers they had this stuff on the tapes they used to go into the old little one um, but we you know it was just it had to have been a great time and uh, let me let's keep reading here for a minute like I said there's a couple other articles I want to share with you but I just think this is pretty cool um, let's see where was I? There was... Okay, I already got through that, basically. And uh, the second was not given until 40 minutes later. Popular music started the show, quickly interrupted by a news bulletin. Beep, 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 beep. At 20 minutes before 8 Eastern Standard Time, Professor Farrell of the Mount Jennings Observatory, Chicago, Illinois, reports observing several explosions of <laughs> incandescent gas occurring at regular intervals on the planet Mars. The spectroscope indicates the gas to be hydrogen and moving towards the Earth with enormous velocity. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Intervals of dance and periods of silence continued, although interrupted more and more frequently by apparent news reports. <laughs> so basically, they went back to music. This is pretty cool what they did. They came in, they said, oh my god, there's something going on. They went right back to music. So if you're sitting there listening to it, you didn't know any better. And then uh, another delivered in a horrified voice was attributed to the reporter in Groves Mill, New Jersey. So basically this is just a reporter from New Jersey. She's, she's taking it up. She's part of the play. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the most terrifying thing I have ever witnessed. Then I can see peering out the black hole of two luminous disks. Are they eyes? In the first half hour, more so the second half hour, the two-hour program, hundreds of thousands of people left their homes rushing to join loved ones, convinced that it would soon die. <laughs> Subways in New York were jammed, others hid in the cellars. So that I could just picture it, everybody rushing out of their homes and in the cellars, the Martians are coming, the Martians are coming. You know, it, was this a better time? <laughs> Millions of people on the eastern seaboard of the United States were terrified and hours elapsed before they soothed or angered by the news it was all fiction. So basically it also talked about here how it was uh, government used this as part of hysteria and of course you know the government's going to use it for uh, for research on it and I think that probably started to push you know the whole ET thing and, and disclosure with the uh, Brookings Institute. I mean, the whole mass hysteria thing, you have to very, be very careful of it because it can easily set in. Um, I don't know if this would happen today. Say, what could happen? Say if something came on our internet today and flashed up and said, uh, you know, the Martians are here, and if they showed something, nowadays it's the TV and stuff is so good. I watched a thing the other day, and uh, they wanted you to know, they wanted you to say, is this lady real or is it fake? You know, is it CGI, computer generated, you know, computer generated or was it you know a real person you could barely tell 
So, you know, who knows what they could do if they showed us a little bit of footage and said something. You know, this was a, an alien coming in, and uh, we saw it. So I've seen such good film out there now um, that are probably most likely fakes out there, UFO things that uh, would blow your mind. So... Anyway, here's a couple articles for you, too. Mars rover opportunity begins climbing a Martian hill. I just am just a stack that opportunity still up there and rocking. You know, Spirit died a couple years ago after it got there. And uh, it's been 10 years now that the rover um, opportunity has been up there. And China's about to send their uh, Yichang-3 to the moon. And it looks a lot like uh, the opportunity rover. And, and I don't blame the Chinese because you stick with what works. So And also, uh, it, like I said the other day, uh, the... The uh, IR, uh, the ISRO, India's uh, cruiser, they're ready to go. The uh, it's called the MOM mission, the Mars Orbiter mission, from uh, India. They're ready to go. November 5th, they're going to be sending their thing off, and they're saying that they're going to both arrive there about September of 2014. So it's a year-long journey, and the Maven from America is going to be launched here in November as well. And uh, the picture of these things is flying side by side on the way out to Mars as like a uh, amazing part of human achievement that we have as we reach out in the space. Um, hopefully, this will be a reach that we will be able to, you know, continue our civilization in. Uh, you know, we can't stay here forever. We're gonna have uh, look at the planet. This is a, a planet that no extraterrestrial civilization would want to live on. This planet is a very rocky, unstable place. You know, look at the dinosaurs. If we're going to survive as a species, we're going to have to leave this planet. So this is first steps, and I'm hoping that, uh, you know, this is going to be at least tell us something that's going to get us moving on there and maybe move us into Mars at some point if we're not already there. If you ask some of the skeptics on my channel, they'll tell you we're already there or they'll tell you we never went there. You never know. But anyway, guys, much love to my subscribers. Thank you so much for hitting me up. Uh, all the new subscribers that's come in lately, or lately, I hope you like to, I hope you enjoy the videos. I do a lot of anomaly videos right now. I'm about to do one on uh, coming up on another moon picture the last three or four moon pictures have been great if you watch those videos if you haven't seen them go check them out what's up in the sky 37 www.whatsupinthesky.com i'm about to update that right now take it easy peace